It's been three weeks since devastating tornadoes gutted the city of Tuscaloosa and other parts of the state. People all over Alabama are trying to rebuild, but if you're not careful, an unscrupulous contractor can take advantage of you. Chip Cardin's with the Alabama Home Builders Licensure Board. He's here with some rebuilding tips. Thanks for being with us today. Good afternoon. So let's um, first start off by talking about what do people need to do if they are in the process once they've removed the debris, what do they need to do first? Probably the most important thing that they can do is ask to see the card. Uh, we have a credit card size license that uh, has their name, address, and the current year on it. Um, that's an indicator that they are licensed by the board and they're not a scammer from out of state uh, trying to come in and take advantage of people. What if they are from out of state, um, <coughs> that they could possibly be you know, legitimate, what do they need to do then? You're always at an advantage if you use a, a local contractor uh, because there will be some service after the storm in most cases. Um, most of the time if you use an out of state man, he, uh, after the, when there's an issue later on, he's in his state counting your money mm -hmm. uh, where a local man's here to work with you after the storm. And what um, can someone do to make sure that that card is legitimate? Because it might be easy for someone to duplicate or make a fake card. Our, um, our card is, is quite different than most of the licensed cards that are out there. Um, most of them are, are wall certificates, 8 by 10 uh, or 8.5 by 11. Uh, ours, like I say, is that credit card size, and it's got the home builder's licensure board on it. It's got a watermark um, uh, current year on it. Mm -hmm. um, and so far, we haven't had a lot of trouble with people counterfeiting the card. What do you want um, home builders to know? Any, advi any more advice or information? What's the most important thing they should know? Uh, the most important thing uh, for the home builder is uh, to get out there to use a written contract That's, that serves the consumer as well as the builder. Uh, as far as the consumer tips that are out there, ask to see the card. Don't get in a big hurry. Uh, it's hard to tell somebody that has a blue tarp on their house, you know, don't get in a hurry. Uh, but at this stage in the game, if your house has been destroyed, two or three weeks or a month uh, is not going to make that big a difference in the in the end game. What um, what can they do, you know, you, you're asking to be pa for them to be patient. What can they do in the meantime? Are there any other subtle little things that they can do maybe to help speed up the process? Uh, they, uh, as far as consumer protection, speeding up the process, um, when they get their insurance check, don't pay for anything up front. Um, if they do have to pay for materials up front, pay the material supplier direct and have them to deliver them to your job site. Uh, big down payment checks, especially to folks that you don't have any contact information on or just a cell number, it's awful easy to get a check and leave the state. All right. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate it. Thank you for helping us get the word out. If you're rebuilding, then you want to make sure you're not putting yourself at risk. The Alabama Home Builders Licensure Board has all sorts of important information on their website. You can find it at hblb.state.al.us.